Hello, I am Remo Yes Man, and if you don't know what we do on this channel, I like to talk about general gaming news or anything that interests me while playing some Warframe. And today, today I would like to talk about Sony because Sony is being sued once again, and this time they are being sued for $14 million. Sony is being sued for $14 million for allegedly implementing anti-counterfeit measures that disproportionately affected the functionality of a lot of third-party controllers. And I shit you guys not, I am somebody that has been personally affected by this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now I might butcher the name of this agency, but I did look up how to pronounce the name, so please just bear with me. I want to go on to quote this Push Square article that goes on to state, France's antitrust regulator, Authority de la Concurrence, has handed down Japanese tech giant Sony a fine of 13.5 million euros, 14.8 million after finding that it used its dominant position to corner the market, specifically in the realm of third-party PlayStation 4 controller manufacturer. Authority de la Concurrence said that Sony implemented technical measures that made it extremely difficult for third-party controller manufacturers to compete. The body found that the only controllers that reliably worked on the PlayStation 4 were Sony's DualShock PlayStation 4 controllers and other specifically licensed controllers. Several issues including frequent disconnections plagued all other controllers. Authority de la Concurrence claims that Sony deliberately made guidelines for licensing controllers for their platform vague, leaving third-party manufacturers in the dark. The body slammed Sony for the lack of transparency in its licensing program, alleging that it applied criteria in the discretionary manner even though access to the program was the only way to avoid disconnections. Sony has yet to respond to the ruling body and it may choose to appeal. Did you opt for any third-party controllers on the PS4? What was your experience like? If so, let us know in the comment section below. Now quick disclaimer guys, they only go back as far as the PlayStation 4 era, but I shit you guys not, this shit has been going on since the PS3 era, and I think the reason why we haven't heard a lot of pushback by Sony as of yet as of yet, we haven't heard a lot of pushback from Sony is because I think they've been getting away with this shit for a long time and a $14 million fine is a small drop in the bucket compared to the money that they've accumulated in controller sales over the duration of the time this has actually been going on. Because I shit you guys not, I've had problems with just about every single third party PS4 controllers with the exception of a few, but that's speculation on my part. If you've been a Sony user for a long time, even as far back as the PS3 era, and you've had problems with third party controllers, let me know because I don't think I'm the only one and I'm not fucking crazy here. Now listen, I remember when I first had this issue on the PS3 with a third party controller. Specifically, it was a transparent Mad Cats controller. And you know, it could just be that Mad Cats was a shitty ass company that made shitty ass controllers and other shitty ass peripherals. But it wasn't just Mad Cats that I had the issue with. It was almost every third party controller I used on that PS3 console that either broke for some mysterious reason or the charging port would go out not long after initially getting the damn thing. And I swear, I always thought, huh, I wonder if my PS3 is bricking my controllers. But you know, fucking, I'm like, nah, that's just me being fucking overly paranoid. It's just this third party bullshit, you know? So at that point, I made the decision to stop buying third party and start buying Sony Official, but there were still those times where I would wind up broke and I couldn't afford a Sony Official controller because I was so young, you know? So I would have to go to GameStop and get some third-party bullshit or order some third-party bullshit online that was extremely cheap. And every single time 
those controllers would break on me without fail for some mysterious ass reason. And listen, the thing about Sony official equipment is Sony official gear is not cheap, you know? Even the used gear is not cheap, especially like if you go to GameStop and you want a used controller, a new PlayStation 3 controller would run you about 60 bucks, which was the price of a new AAA game. And a used PlayStation 4 controller that was official by Sony would run you 40 bucks. So that wasn't that much better. Whereas, uh, like a random ass third party controller would only run you about 30 bucks new and used, you can get the damn thing for like 15, 20 dollars, you know? So it was just a lot more viable to a 15 year old back at that era you know i might have been younger than 15 i don't know it was so long ago but it was all bullshit to this day i still have like a lot of third party ps3 controllers just sitting around my place and i know some people are gonna be like oh why the fuck do you have that because i have an issue throwing out technology that actually works you know and third party ps3 controllers were so rare and third party ps4 controllers for that matter but by the ps4 era you know i was usually able to afford a sony official controller but third party playstation 3 controllers were so rare that i had trouble discarding them and so the few that i did have that were reliable i held on to them and out of all of my PlayStation 3 controllers, the only ones that reliably worked the entire time throughout the life of the PlayStation 3 were the Sony official ones I had. But those ones would eventually go out because back in those days, you know, you're putting in fucking a couple thousand hours on Black Ops 2, on fucking Modern Warfare 3, on Black Ops 1, on Destiny 1. And I don't know if you guys engaged, but I engaged in Unreal Tournament a lot back in the day. That was my game, Unreal Tournament fucking vehicle capture the flag. And those games will absolutely wear out your thumbsticks, especially Unreal if you're into that type of shit. It surprises me that this isn't a much bigger story. And to be honest, even if it, it was a much bigger story, I guarantee you would see a lot of pushback from the console fanboys. And you know, that's exactly why console fanboyism gets on my nerve because these companies don't give a fuck about you. You're just a number to these companies. These companies don't care about you. They don't want to be your friend. So I don't get why these console fanboys go online and they vehemently defend Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo, mostly Sony and Nintendo. And what's crazy about Sony and Nintendo is they definitely deserve a lot of criticism from their overpriced games to their anti-consumer business practices to trying to push for this all digital future so they can basically set the price of games. I don't know if you noticed, but Nintendo games almost never go down in price. Even five, six, seven years later, those bitches will still be 50 to $60 on the Nintendo eShop. And... It's crazy because when you see these console fanboys go online and defend these billion dollar companies from criticism that rightfully should befall them, they're doing these companies a favor and they're doing a disservice to the gaming community. Like the amount of fanboys that will defend anything that Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo does is absolutely crazy. Then on top of that, Nintendo and Sony are both two Japanese companies. They aren't even American companies. Yet you have American fanboys that will defend both of these companies like their lives depended on it. And to be honest, I'll be the first person to admit that anything manufactured in Japan is almost 120% going to be better than if it was manufactured in, in the U.S. And that goes for everything from video games to food to fucking anime. But when these companies are doing anti-consumer shit, they absolutely deserve to fucking be called out on it. 
And when it comes down to it, if you don't call them out on it, they're just going to keep getting away with this bullshit. Because at the end of the day, guys, right is right and wrong is wrong. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. If you like the content, go ahead and leave a like. If you dislike, go ahead and leave a dislike. But all you can do for me at this point is just to have a beautiful day. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace.